Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Pinstar Plays Airships Conquer the Skies. So this little indie title uh, came across my notice uh, uh, a short while ago through Keymailer. Decided to give it a dive in, and you know what? I really like it. I really like it. It is a, a basically a steampunk airship uh, uh, design and conquer uh, type game here. So, you know what? Let's dive right in. I've gone through all the tutorials. Um, we're going to go into conquest mode here. So, the first thing you do in conquest mode here is you got to set up your kingdom and your coat of arms and certain, uh, certain basically crests of your coat of arms will give you different... Uh, uh, different uh, bonuses. I haven't played around with uh, this too much uh, in terms of what, um, what what bonuses are good or what synergizes with what or what have you. Uh, but yeah, um, actually, I like this one. The, the lift from suspendium chambers. This allows your, uh, your, your ships to fly a little bit higher. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll stick with this one. Although, let's get uh, Finstar. All right. Standard game. Let's start it up. Okay. So, here we are in our world map here. We've got our nation sort of tucked away over here. We're kind of right on the... Right in the middle of, uh, of here. This giant desert sitting here cutting everybody off. Um... We uh, we got we our empire is kind of in a little bit of a sliver here. We got one neighbor who's like we're we're making real good friends with. We we I think we're going to be fighting with them. There's not much in the way of diplomacy here. Um, it's just a matter of uh, of uh, build your forces and fight and defend and what have you. So let's uh, let's do what we uh, what we came here to do. Let's design a ship. All right, so the uh, the way your ships are constructed is they are basically constructed modularly. Um, all these different parts here have different effects. They have different costs. I didn't mean to place that. Um, and, you know, you, you need a certain amount of stuff to make your ship viable, but... but the bare bone basics are just that, the basics. Beyond that, there are a ton of different ways you can outfit your ship, and how you outfit your ship will greatly impact how it performs in combat. And there's a lot of little things going on inside the ship that you don't directly control, but your crew is, uh, does for you, and they're impacted by how well you design your ships. Um, so what we uh, so here's what we're going to start out with. First things first, the the heart of the ship um, is actually not a traditional uh, heart. Well, first off, let's start with this, the suspendium chamber. The suspendium, and that's what that little, uh, that's what this little crystal thingy here is. This is the in-universe explanation as to how these things uh, stay in the air. There's apparently this element called suspendium, um, aptly named, which generates lift. And as long as the machine is fed coal, it activates this crystal and gives the ship lift. The more of these crystals that we have, the uh, the higher our ship can go. Because the, the uh, suspendium only works, um, you know, the further away you get from the ground, the weaker its effect. So there's a, a height limit. And that's important in combat, is how high your ship can actually go. Um, now, to, uh, to supply the suspendium crystal, um, we need coal. This is a steampunk after all, uh, so we need a good supply of coal on board. Um, and it comes with its own little ladder, so now our, co our crew can come up the ladder, grab some coal, and feed this thing. Um, and it needs one unit of coal every 20 seconds. Now, it, it, as long as you have coal available, it'll feed itself uh, so it stays in the air. Now, the other thing that we need to uh, to make this ship move around, the suspendium is all well and good about helping it go up and down, but it still needs to go back and forth. Um, and there are, I mean, there are tons of different options. There's propellers, there's sails, um, there's all kinds of, uh, of options here. I'm going to go with the uh, propeller. It seems like a more standard option. You can have it 
pointing the other way. Uh, yeah, we're going to put you down here. Now, the propeller needs to have crew access. We can see right from this red line here that it doesn't. Luckily, we can build some guts in the ship. Corridor with ladder. There. Now the crew can get up to the suspendium chamber and down to the uh, uh, to here, because this thing requires uh, coal as well, the propeller. So now our ship can go up and down, it can go left and right. Now, there is one problem with keeping coal on a ship made out of wood and steel, and that's fire! The your ship is going to be shot at, and occasionally those, sharks, those shots will spark fires. And if a fire is sparked in the middle of a coal pile, that could be problematic. So, luckily you have a tool at your disposal to try and fight that. It's called a fire point. Two massive water tanks uh, provide the means of extinguishing fire. So, bada boom, right next to the coal. So, if there is a fire on the ship, our crew will run to the fire point, get some... Uh, basically some buckets and go to wherever the fire is and put it out. Uh, and as long as you have water and have a fire point to begin with, uh, you can deal with fires on the ship. Um, now, there's one other thing that we... Um, uh, well, actually, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here. So in order to man this whole ship, um, we need somewhere for our crew to stay. So we've got the crew quarters. Uh, I'm going to put them, eh, let's put them down here and here. We're going to need two of them. Now, now the more, now this is going to provide us with 24 crew. And as you build more and more modules onto your ship, each module requires a certain number of crew members to pilot uh, or, or maintain it. Um, so we're, we're going to keep, keep going on here. Uh, now, one of the other uh, one of the other items we're going to need. Obviously, this is going to be a warship. We need weapons. In order for weapons to be of any use to us, we need ammo. So we need a storehouse for all the weapons. Now, as it says here in the tooltip, ammunition for the ship's weapons stored here. Just make sure it doesn't catch fire. Yeah, lots of explosive and propellants and gunpowder and all kinds of fun stuff in there. So we don't want that to catch fire either. So we're going to put it on the other side of our our fire point so that the two most flammable parts of our ship is right next to the part of the ship that puts out the flammable parts of the ship um, which I think will uh, will do nicely for us here um, now in um, in um, as, as far as uh, piling the ship goes here um, we do actually need to be able to steer the ship around uh, and you have a couple of different op uh, options. You can go with a, with a fewer uh, commanders, uh, just like a single pilot, or you can have a bridge where you have several commanders. There's an interesting dichotomy here. So the more commanders you have, the more frequently you can issue commands to your ship. So you can kind of micro it into the sky a little bit better when you have a greater presence of commanders. Of course, this takes space. This costs money. This takes up crew members. So have Having lots and lots of commanders on the ship might allow you to micro the ship, but there's a cost to it, an opportunity cost. Uh, that being said, I do want to kind of micro this a little bit, so we're going to do a bridge. Um, which is, I mean, it's three crew members. We can afford to have three crew members uh, going on here. Uh, let's put you here. That's good. They can get up here, and each of these counts as sort of like a floor. Right then. Now, let's actually get some weapons on this beast. Let's actually be able to shoot things. Uh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, right, so cannons are sort of our bread and butter. These things uh, fire slowly but do a lot of damage, and they can punch through armor. Uh, but some of, the other, uh, some of the other items that we have at our disposal here um, can give us different options. The uh, Let me see here. Structural weapons. So uh, bombs allow you to drop uh, drop bombs well straight down on uh, onto uh, something, but you have to be over whatever it is you're trying to bomb. Uh, certainly would be useful. You got the grape shot cannon. Uh, this thing is a small spray of smaller cannonballs um, that'll tear through. You know what? Grape shot cannon might actually be a, a better thing than a cannon cannon. Because in the early game, not a lot of people have, uh, have, um, oh, this kind of just sprays outwards, doesn't it? 
Oh yeah, yeah, we're good. So yeah, two grape shot cannons. These things will just pepper things with cannonballs. Ah, uh, do I want a bomber? I think I kind of do want a bomb bay. Um, just in case we're bombing structures, because we're not just attacking enemy ships, we're attacking uh, enemy structures here as well. Oh, actually, no, I don't want this one right up like this, because we want we need a little room to go up here um, to to sort of put these up top. So we're going to get another quarter with a ladder. Uh, one of the other things you need is you need hatches um, uh, to your uh, to your ship here to provide enough supply. Basically, uh, you know, enough enough room to be able to bring the initial supplies onto the ship itself. Essentially, it forces you, you know, these hatches are kind of weak points. So this kind of forces you to strategically think about where are you going to put your weak points, knowing that you have to put some of these weak points in, day, in place. Um, now I'm trying to think, what else might we want? I might want a repair bay. Um, this allows us to sort of do some field repairs on our ships as it takes damage in the, uh, in the air here. Uh, that's not a bad idea. Not, not a bad idea at all. Um, we do kind of want to, want them to be able to, uh, come up here like this. Uh, but that's going to stick out. That's not going to be pretty. Hmm. Yeah, actually it should be fine. It should be fine. We can get a um, yeah. We'll do our we'll do our uh, our point right here. And I know, I know. Uh, we're gonna get a couple supply hatches here, and one right here. And let's get another one of those. Um, Ooh, do we want a crow's nest? Actually, you know what we could do? The crow's nest wouldn't be a bad idea. That uh, that uses an extra crew member. Yeah, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put another quarter of the ladder. We're going to go up one more little level here. Um, we'll get... Uh, where's, my, where's that grape shot uh, cannon here? Get another grape shot cannon, like that. Oh, no, that's too far back. Grape shot cannon there. We want that to be able to... So now these guys have a pretty pretty generous firing arc here. And if we uh, get something in the middle here, both of them can hit. Um, so that should be good. All right. Um... Yeah, let's see. We could also do a little, uh, just a little extra things here. Um, get a rifle bay. Yeah, just just right here. This thing, rifles uh, have basically can hit anything and they're very accurate. They just can't penetrate armor. But a little extra DPS right there in the middle certainly wouldn't be a, wouldn't be a, a bad thing. Um, yeah, let's, we do a crow's nest. Hmm. Uh, let's see, if does the crow's nest... Yeah, this will actually help us spot the ships that we need to spot. Uh, no, don't you don't like it that cramped? Fine. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to uh, fit for us. That's all right. Here's what we're gonna do. Um, well, we'll get another we'll get another corridor with ladder thing here. Oh, we can't do that. Hmm. Supply hatch. No? 
No. All right. Maybe not. Maybe not so much with the crow's nest. We should still be fine. Steel supply hatch and steel supply hatch. That gives us enough uh, steel supply hatches. Now um, you can uh, build up armor. Um, now in the early game we haven't uh, we haven't researched any uh, any armor here. All right, our service ceiling isn't great, but that's okay. Our speed isn't great either, but again, that's okay. We'll be okay. I think we should be uh, we should be pretty good here. We'll call this. Oh, let's see here. Forward March. Maybe not the best name for a ship, but eh. And then you can save your design, use them for later, and then also use it to repeat build. That way you're not, like, designing the whole ship from scratch every time you want to build a ship. Now this thing, as you can see, uh, the cost of our components gets added up. This costs us 723 bucks to uh, to build. We only got 250 at the moment, so we're going to have to uh, leave here without being able to build any more of them. Um, luckily, when you uh, when you move the game up, your your income will tick up depending on how many cities you have and what their income is. Uh, you can also have research. There's a whole tech tree here that lets you get new parts for your ships. New designs, better things, better everything. Um, so yeah, there's there's a lot of lot of good stuff that we can do here. Um, me, I think I'm uh, I think I'm gonna do metallurgy. Uh, this is gonna allow us to get some steel armor, uh, actually be able to to survive some stuff. Um, yeah. I think that's I think that's going to be a good thing for us. So we'll be researching that, and that uh, goes over time. All right, let's uh, let's kick up things. Again, there's not exactly much in the way of uh, um, you know diplomacy here. It's just you know certain nations will occasionally uh, decide to attack each other, and and uh, and then you either move to defend or move to attack or counterattack or what have you. Um, and me, I'm just waiting. I'm just saving up cash for my uh, for my new ship here. Again, you can you there's there's no limit to the number of different ships. Uh -oh. Number of different ships here. All right, you can strengthen it. So we can we have our ships here. The Locust. No idea what this is. The game just started the ship with me, but we are going to move up to defend. Um. Build ship, uh, forward march 723, build. All right, so we are working on our ship. It takes time for it to build, but... Hey, <laughs> noped out of there. Please and no thank you. All right, you can move down here. That way this ship can combine with, uh, with our forward march, and maybe we can do a little... Uh, we can do a little uh, something something against them. All right, so now we've got two ships here, our Forward March and the Locust. Ooh, the Locust looks like it's a bomber to me. That's a good thing. It's also a pretty big gun. All right, let's invade Thulu. Not Cthulhu, just, just Thulu. So it's Cthulhu's little cousin. All right, off we go. Yeah, they're moving to defend. But that's okay. Sigum. Ah, yeah, you can sabotage your each other too, but we're not worried about that. Well, actually, we kind of are, but uh, we are. We're we're going to be doing battle here. All right. So this is their ship. So one of the other ways you can get your ships aloft, besides the little uh, crystals thing, is basically by um, well, dirigibles and sails here. Um, now the upside is these things give generate a lot of lift. 
um, and are quite cheap. The downside is that they're dirigibles and, well, you can shoot holes in these things and then the ship will lose its lift. It's not hydrogen. It's not going to Hindenburg, unfortunately. There are lots of fires and explosions to be had in battle, as you will see shortly. Um, the other thing is, since we are attacking, uh, we also have to deal with their stationary thing. So what I want to do is I want to try and take out their ship first, um, and then go to engage that and stay way the heck away from that. Um, so let's take a look here. All right. Uh, so this thing... What does this thing have? Is this just like a... We've got a couple of guns up here, but this looks like a whole bunch of bombers. This is a bomber ship. Uh, so we want this thing basically on top. This, we're going to move you back here. Because um, we want you to have a little distance in here. And we want you up here. Um, so that we can drop bombs on the ship. We can drop bombs on that structure. Let's begin. Yeah, this is definitely a, a bomber here. So what we do here is it, it's, it's real time with pause, one of my favorite uh, combat types here. So here we're issuing a command. Uh, we're going to tell you to move over here. Now, we can't issue another command until the cooldown's up. And how fast that cooldown goes up is up to uh, the others here. Yeah, you can see some of the dust is starting to leak out. <laughs> yeah. That's dirigibles for you. <laughs> um, here's what you're going to do. You're going to move on over here because we got a building to bomb. And we can flip you. Meanwhile, I'm going to take this to make sure this thing dies properly. Um, we're going to move it, flip it. See how it's, all of its guns are in the front? It's kind of disabled. It's not going to be turning around. So we're going to scoot around behind it so the remnants can't shoot at us. Oh yeah, I forgot we had a... We, uh, we, have, a, we have a bomb here, too, don't we? Forgot all about our bomb. Um, actually, that might be a smarter thing to do. A little bit more damaging. Just to completely wreck it while this goes to town. Gotta make sure we get all of the... Uh... We don't want that ship taking too much damage here. You bombing still? Yep. We don't want them to salvage that ship. All right, perfect. We have disabled both their ship and their uh, their uh, their defenses, so the city is ours. Um, now you can sort of decide how to take over the city. We're going to do a gentle takeover, um, and then we're going to move you to uh, to reinforce. It's like they're going to get here first. So they might, uh, they're, they're going to get a free shot against our defenses um, uh, before our ships arrive. But then even if they win this battle, we'll be able to take the city right back from them. So one of the other things we can do, we start out with a couple of freebie static defenses here. Looks like they're caught on a, caught on a rock here. But um, you, you start with a few freebie static defenses. Um, and um, But you can design your own defenses. Like, like even though this game's main claim to fame is building and designing airships, uh, that's not the only thing you can do. You can do land vehicles, you can do static defenses, and they all follow the same rules that the ships here. We're gonna speed things up here. I don't, I think I don't think he realizes he's, uh, yeah, <laughs> he's caught on this rock and. Pfft. 
I don't know if these guys can... If he's going to be able to do anything here. We're taking occasional pot shots on him, so eventually we're, we're going to chew him up. Yeah, so uh, lesson learned, kids. Uh, dirigibles, maybe not the best idea. All right, yeah, it's been grounded. And our forts are fine. We didn't even need to reinforce. Uh, I have no idea what that random mad scientist is. But I do know I want another one of my ships. Um, maybe, hmm, we could do a, maybe a land ship. Let's try one of these. Well, actually, no, I, I need to experiment a little bit more with land ships. Maybe in another episode we'll do land ships. But what I do want to do is get you guys back here. Ah, so it is something you can attack. Might get some, like, research from them if we beat them or something like that. And also keep an, keep an eye on our stuff down here. This guy's fielding a lot of things. Let's um let's uh let's get some defenses here. First off, I don't want you guys quite so close to each other. Let's design a building, shall we? So same same concept here as our um as our others. You know, uh, it's just that they don't move or fly or anything. Uh, let's see what we can do here. First off, structural. Troops. Yeah, we don't need, uh, obviously, any propulsion. Let's see here. Spy hatch, repair bay. We can still do all those fun stuff. I I'm gonna stick with our uh, with our grape shot cannon here. We'll start with that. Yeah, obviously you can't. I guess uh, I guess we have to. Uh, I guess I guess we have to build the sh the, the baseline structure first. All right, structural. All right, so let's. Uh, Let's get our corridor with ladder here. Oh, hi. Okay. All right, let's see here. Let's flip you here. We'll have yeah, we'll have this one up top, just like that. Ooh, actually, I have a better idea. We have you up here. We have you up here. Corridor la ladder will connect the two of you. See, that way, if someone tries to come behind us, we're, we're golden. All right, let's get some corridors. We don't need corridors here because now we can get rifles. Later in the game, you can get weapons that uh, that fire straight up, uh, sort of like anti-air stuff. Uh, grenades, not so much because those fire downwards. Uh, so we do need some resources. Um, we need an ammo storehouse. Um, I do want a fire point. 
Yeah, that's better. Um, we could use a repair bay. Actually, the ammo store kind of should be up higher, closer to the weapons here. That would make more sense. Which means we're going to want this closer. Maybe it doesn't need to be quite so tall. All right, let's see here. Um, yeah, we do want to we do want to keep with these rifles here. You can't do that one. That's fine. Yeah, got a couple of rifles here. Now we do need some crew. Yeah, we don't need you here. Yeah, we'll get you here, get you here. We'll get one more um, corridor with ladder to hook the two of you guys up. We don't need a ton of crew here. But that might not be a bad thing to have. Actually, we could have a full bore cannon up here. There we go, a full full bore cannon. This should keep us safe. Uh, well, this thing's actually not going to be too expensive, all said and done. And we can build a couple of these things. Um, supply hatches. We can get that. And yeah, we can just kind of shrink this thing down to the ground. And we need crew. We're still without crew. Where's our crew? Where's our crew? Man and crew, there we are. We can get away with just a bunk. We could. We, uh, we just set a bunk here. A minimum crew nine, never mind. We need a proper crew. We need a. We need a there. Proper barracks. Crow's nest, eh? We'll, uh, we'll crow's nest, yeah? We can do a crow's nest and prove everyone's accuracy. Corridor with ladder. I keep shrinking stuff at the bottom, but yeah, here we go. Crow's nest. And yeah, let's get another, um, let's get another rifle here. Yeah, actually we probably don't need the rifles on this side. We can get muskets. Because these things don't need to be, uh, These things don't need to be as long ranged, so we can we can get the cheaper versions. And actually, why are you on the bottom? You should be up top here, and then we can get a. Uh... No, actually, you know what? Yeah, we'll just keep with the musketeers in the back. We need the heavy arms here. All right, you know what? I think. Uh, oh yeah, we need our supply uh, doohickey. Yeah, yeah, you're not going to be doing much good here, so 
we'll use we'll use that to get our supply hatch. And then we can do a, a doohickey here. That's a little bit better. That's more like it. Uh, let's see here. Stonewall. Perfect. Save it. And now we need to build the building. Stone wall. Oh, we got a pretty big one here. But I think we're I think we'll be doing I think we'll be fine right here. There we go. Alright, so now this defense is on its way being built, so in case someone else comes up here. They're going to have to tangle with that extra defense here. And we're waiting for our cash to come in because I want to buy myself another um, uh, another uh, what happened to my thing? I don't want an, uh, an acrid stench. I hope I saved that. Open design. Yeah, forward march. Oh, it's, it's not on there because I can't afford it. Derp, 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 derp. Okay, now I can afford it. I just needed to wait a little bit. Build! Alright, we have our extra defenses in Olmton. Where do you think you're going, bud? Uh, they're tangling with their neighbor. Moving to invade one of our cities, eh? I figured as much. Yeah, they got there before me. Well, that's them. What's What are we doing here? Or I think, yeah, we don't exactly have much of a thing here. That's just the husk of the building here. Oh, that mad scientist is on is doing stuff. Didn't realize that was a that was a thing. What in the world? Hackers are looting the city while your fleet is occupied. If you withdraw, your defenses will be spared. The city will be thoroughly looted. Oh, so that's what the mad scientist has. He's got a giant robot. I was wondering what the Sam Heck the, uh, was I'm guessing this thing is armored. There's a little tentacle cannon bot here. Yeah, these defenses need to be a little better, because this guy can't shoot. Yeah, and they don't have the means to put out fires, do they? Oh, no, they do. They're just getting cut to pieces. Oh! Ay, ay, ay. We need, we need those cannons. But, yeah, the city's been thoroughly looted. We need to take these guys out. That freaking mad scientist. I will not stand for that. Okay, <laughs> now we got a dirigible. Plus two of these guys. Oh, did we not, uh, did we not get our other one? That's okay. It's this, just a copy of this one. Oh yeah, we gotta actually start the battle first. All right, let's move you here. <laughs> I 
Yeah, dirigibles don't do well when you drop bombs on them, bud. I can I can see the dirigibles being used like if you have like a swarm of ultra cheap ships that are just there to hit hard and if you take them out who cares then I can see the dirigibles being uh, pretty darn nasty but right now they are kind of a joke which is good because these guys being my neighbor And we take our city. Oh, I hope we don't have to retake it back over again. Oh, yeah, it didn't finish in time. That's the reason. Let's go murder that mad scientist, shall we? We shall in the next episode. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!